hello my writing family you're welcome back to my channel so in today's video i have something interesting to share with you oh yeah so what i have to say this video is going to be very short yeah short so what i have to share is my experience visiting the um polish barber shop to have my hair cut as in the first time when i Actually, I was very weak when I walked into the store shop. Yeah, I was very weak when I walked into the shop and I told them that I want to cut my hair. They were like, hmm? okay, how do you want it? Then the next thing I, I, I took off the wig and they were like, oh. as it, I was, look at the expression. They were like, I said, oh. This was fake wig. This is not my hair. This is what I want to cut. And they were like, oh. as in, they were surprised. They've not actually worked on a uh, cut and afro hair for C for B. It's their first time of coming in contact with someone having a afro kinky hair. She was kind of confused because she didn't know how to start she has never done it before she was like i don't want to mess up your hair how do i do it i was like okay i'll tell you what to do yes because it's cheaper for me she's charging me 20 zeloti so if i want an african guy to come cut my hair in my house because there's no african shop where you can cut your hair in lovely yes so if I want an African guy to come cut my hair, so definitely it's going to charge me 80, 70, even up to 100 zloty. And that is so expensive for a student. I'm here in Poland studying nothing, so my budget is tight. Like, I'm on a budget, seriously. So I have to, like, cut my costs to, I do things that doesn't stress my finance stress my in nigeria will say do things that doesn't stress your pocket so now i'm gonna be playing the video of how she managed to get my hair done so afterwards i'll let you know my take on this okay guys now this is the moment you have been waiting for i did film the uh section where i was negotiating with them negotiation like i was trying to convince them that well this is not difficult if you're a professional baba you should know how to work on any hair texture yeah well they were so surprised to see my hair was especially when i took off the wig because i came here with wearing a wig so they were so surprised like wow that she has already she only saw a uh, kinky hair on tv she never had opportunity to like touch it and she's been so careful i got irritated by her being so careful yeah i got irritated by it but so i had to manage she didn't cut the front very well but you just have to manage so far so good she tried yeah being her first time she, she she tried yeah because she's a professional barber so professional barber should be able to handle any hair texture yes that is what i feel a professional barber should be able to handle any hair texture though the only problem the the only clause there is she was she wasn't able to give me the proper cut you know when you in an African barber shop. There's this kind of cut they give to your hair, as in these edges. They kind of give you that proper cut. So she didn't give me that proper cut, but so I have to manage for twenty zloty, girl. I mean for it, yeah. So guys, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do compilation in my channel. I do a bunch of stuff in my channel. A whole lot of things in my channel. Do well to stay back. Watch my other videos. Yes. 
yes my next video may be compilation video or maybe a personal video if there's any video you want me to do just drop the comments in the comment section and i will do it see you guys in my next video bye